Hello, this is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at mirroring assemblies. So if you look on the screen here, you'll see that I have uh, a mechanism. And this is a left-hand mechanism. I also want to make a right-hand version of this entire mechanism. So one important thing to take notice is some of the parts, all we're going to have to do is copy and flip over. While other parts, in particular, this part, we actually have to create an opposite hand version. So let's go ahead and create our right hand version of our assembly. So we'll go ahead and activate the mirror components command. For my mirror plane, I'm going to select plane 2. For components to mirror, I can select each component individually, or even better, since I want to mirror all of them, I'm just going to hit Control A. And this will select all the components. I'll hit this next arrow. I want to define how I want to mirror this. Do I want to mirror using the center of bounding box, the center of mass, or the component origin? I typically like to use the center of bounding box. It's also very uh, good for mirroring components that are asymmetric. Uh, next, I want to pay attention on the pre to the preview on how these components are mirrored. For those who aren't aware, you actually have several options on how to mirror components. You can mirror by flipping the X and Y axis, or by you can mirror them by mirroring the X and Y axis. You can see here uh, a little preview of a description. Here you can mirror it by mirroring the X and then flipping it and then mirroring the Y axis. Um, here you can see you can and here you can also isolate the selected components so you can see exactly what's going on so here you can mirror over the X mirror over the Y and then flip and then here you can simply mirror over the X flip it mirror over the Y and flip it so each one of these gives you slightly different results in my case I simply want to mirror over the X, flip it, and then mirror over the Y. So by default, most of the choices are pretty, uh, I'm satisfied with. SOLIDWORKS is pretty smart, so usually some of the default settings will be exactly what you're looking for, except for this bracket here. If I go to the bracket, you'll see that if I pick any of my first four options, it doesn't actually give me quite the result that I desire. So in this case, I actually have to create an opposite hand version. And there from the preview, you can see this is exactly what I'm looking for. After this, I'm going to go ahead and hit the next. Because I am creating an opposite hand version of a part, its geometry is completely different from the original bracket. Uh, here it gives me an option that to create a new file of this part. So I'm going to create a new part model. And I'm going to name it RH for right-hand version. I'm going to give it a prefix, I should say. And then I'm going to choose where I want to save this new model. So I'm going to save it in the same folder as the rest of my components. And then I'm going to hit Next. Here you can choose what items or features you wish to import into your new right-hand version of your bracket if you're linking it to the original bracket so right now it's set up to link so that if the original bracket changes uh, the right hand version of the bracket will automatically update as well so with the link option enabled you can actually choose to transfer a whole bunch of items such as solid bodies planes axes uh, absorb sketches and so on in this case we don't want to keep a link to the original bracket. So we're gonna pick the option, break link to original part. I'll hit okay. And here you can see my assembly. I can take a closer look. You can see all the components appear as desired. One thing to pay attention to is the keyways. Make sure the keyways match. Everything looks good. 
I can even test out my mechanism. You can see here that they both dynamically move. Here's my opposite hand version of my bracket. If I actually open the opposite hand version of the bracket, here you can see in the header, it added that prefix for right hand version. You'll also pay attention to the feature tree. You'll see because this is not linked to the original model, I broke that link. It has the full feature tree that I can access. So that is how you can mirror entire assembly and its components. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.